Yes, right now I'm in Terminal 5, and today we're headed home to Fort Lauderdale on the JetBlue A321. So let's get checked in and go to the gate. Right here is the JetBlue check-in area at LAX. San Antonio, Sacramento. Attention in the terminal, JetBlue, flight 1700 to Fort Lauderdale, gate 55B, aging customer 8. Today we're on JetBlue, flight 100 to Fort Lauderdale, as you can see right there, boarding gate 50, so let's head over now. Alright, we just passed security, and right now we're in Concourse 5, Terminal 5 at LAX. And JetBlue uses Terminal 5 mainly. I think they used to use Terminal 6, I'm not absolutely sure. But right now, I don't even have to time lapse it like I usually do because our gate is literally right here. So I'll bring you there right now. Let's go. And here's our gate, gate 50. Right now it says it's going to JFK, and that's because we're really early today. But we'll be Fort Lauderdale soon. It says it's under the next flight. And right now, here goes this Airbus A321 for New York JFK. They're connected to the tug, ready for pushback. So on our flight to Fort Lauderdale today, there's the JetBlue Mink cabin. And in case you don't know what Mink is, it's JetBlue's version of business class. And it's actually really nice. But today we're not in that, so we don't get like a full meal service like Mint does. So right now we're at some restaurant in LAX, I'll tell you the name after. But I'm going to get myself a burger before the flight because we land at 8 o'clock at night and frankly I'm probably not going to eat anything afterwards. So we're here now, this will probably be my only meal of the day. We'll get some snacks on board obviously, but yeah. Right now we're at a Ford's filling station to eat. Alright, for an airport, this looks pretty fire, but this is my burger. Alright, and we just finished lunch, and we're now headed to gate 50 for our flight. Our plane just arrived from Fort Lauderdale, so let's go check it out. And here we are back at our gate, gate 50. Right out here is our aircraft for today. Uh, November 991 Juliet Tango. It's a seven year old Airbus A321 with serial number 07994. It came in just a few minutes ago from Fort Lauderdale. All right, we're boarding now for Fort Lauderdale. Welcome aboard the A321. Right here is the mink cabin. Today, 16A. Welcome on board this amazing A321. Today we're in seat 16A. As you can see right here, we have a touchscreen TV which is adjustable. Perfect. 
and has several options. I'll show you once we're in the air. Huge trade table right here. Uh, adjustable headrest. A remote here in case the touch screen doesn't work. Oh, uh, seatbelt pocket with a cup holder right here and menu safety card. And our window right here. Here's our wing view for today. Right next to an American A321neo headed over to Honolulu. <coughs> We'd like to introduce ourselves and welcome to Jabu. We're happy to have you on board today. My name is Rashad and I'm working with Ashley up front here in the Miss Experience. Adrian in the mid and Nella in the back. Our captain is um, our captain is Nick and he'll be the first officer Russell. Our estimated flight time to Fort Lauderdale is four hours thirty five minutes. Your safety is our normal priority, so please give us your attention while we walk you through the aircraft safety features. Please follow along with the safety information card in your seat back pocket. But our law requires you to follow all other information signs, local the context, and especially crew member instructions. Customers are encouraged to report any unwelcome or inappropriate behavior to an airplane crew member. Your life vest is in a pouch on your seat or in a console between seats. If instructed by the crew, tear up in a pouch, move the vest, and pull it over your head. Wrap the strap around your waist, clip the buckle, and pull on the strap to tighten. As you exit the plane, inflate the vest on pulling down firmly on the right side, so pulling into the tubes on both sides. Do not inflate your vest inside the plane. A located light on the shoulder will turn on automatically in water. Put your mask on first before helping others or let you know when it's no longer needed. If you have any questions about this aircraft safety features, do not hesitate to ask. We'll be coming down the aisle for one last check. Please make sure you see better securely fast and see back in a full upright position. And trade tables are stowed. And all carriers carry on items stuff it away. For easy access to the take-off laptop and device system is that can be placed underneath the seat in front of you. All devices must be unplugged from NC power outlets at this time. This aircraft is equipped with four restrooms, one in the front, one big cabin, and two in the back. Each is equipped with the infant chasing table. To avoid cutting an aisle, please wait at your seat until a restroom is available. All our planes are equipped with free unlimited high-speed Wi-Fi to connect to the Fi Fi network and head to FiFi.com. We'll be adjusting the main cabin lights in the front if you need it. There's a reason that above we see as always. Thank you for choosing JetBlue.
bad turbulence over the Palm Springs area. Check out the TV. Touch screen. Let's see. First, let's go to my trip to see all the details. Okay, more vacay than you can pay for. Let's pass that now. Let's go back. hours 38 minutes to landing right now it's 3 57 p.m. in Fort Lauderdale and we're at 35,000 feet cruising at a pretty fast 592 miles per hour uh, right now we're over Phoenix Arizona now let's go back home let's check out the movies JetBlue has many options here as you can see whoop that was fast every single episode of Friends to ever exist, it looks like. Here there's information about even more space, information about JetBlue Mint, uh, different entertainment, Wi-Fi things, True Blue loyalty program, uh, mobile connections and more. Sirius XM satellite radio. There's a lot of music here. If you're a music person, it's definitely great to look at. And here's DirecTV, we got pretty much every single option of live TV you can get in the air. And as you can see today, the aircraft we are on is nicknamed Catch Mint if you can. Right now, we're cruising over eastern Arizona. As I was just looking through the advertisements that are on the TV, I saw that JetBlue starting new routes to Dublin and Edinburgh, Ireland in, later this year, which is very, very exciting. That'll be added on to the London and the Paris routes they already have. As you can see right below us, New Mexico is covered in snow right now. It's only around like 20 degrees over there, as opposed to LA, which is around 50. Right here is JetBlue's Marketplace to run select A321s. Here you can get whatever drink you want. Here's your trash bin. And right here is a full snack selection. Right now we're nearing the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And we're also near the Oklahoma border. Uh, soon we're going to begin our turn towards the Gulf of Mexico for a southeast heading. That'll bring us pretty much straight into Fort Lauderdale with the exception of a little turn to straighten out with the runways there. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe and share a comment. I will be sure to get back to you as quickly as I can. I'm usually quick with that stuff. 
again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Right now we're over Arkansas and we should be landing in Fort Lauderdale in one hour and 57 minutes. Right now we're 35,000 feet going at a speed of 586 miles per hour. As of now we're scheduled to arrive at Fort Lauderdale's Concourse E, gate E4. But of course that's subject to change. At 35,000 feet, it got a bit bumpy, so now the pilot just took us up to 36,000 feet. We are now over Mississippi, and we should be landing in Fort Lauderdale in one hour and 35 minutes. As you can see, the sun's starting to set. We're scheduled to land at 8.09 p.m., maybe a bit earlier, depending on the winds over there. I'm not 100% sure if they're reverse ops, but I think it's regular operations. So we should be landing on 10 left, most likely. Maybe on 10 right, not sure yet. The sunset out here is absolutely amazing. We're about to be over the Gulf of Mexico soon. We should be landing in Fort Lauderdale in an hour and a half. So from the looks of it, it looks like there are a lot of storms over the Gulf of Mexico. So it looks like the pilots are trying to avoid it as much as they can. Right now we're over Alabama and we should be landing in Fort Lauderdale very soon. Right now... It's very bumpy, but I hope it clears up. But I also like a few bumps, you know? It makes the flight more enjoyable. Here we go, it cleared up a little bit. We officially just crossed into Florida. We should be landing in Fort Lauderdale in one hour and two minutes. For Tampa, and we're beginning our initial descent to Fort Lauderdale. It's now time for the Travel Man Rates, Flight Edition. The factors that are taken into account for this rating are the seat, the food, the in-flight entertainment, and the service. First, the seat. The seats on this flight were great. They were well padded and had a great recline. They also had an adjustable headrest and in-seat power as well as IFE, which I thought was great. The reason why JetBlue is one of my favorite airlines is because they have IFE screens on all aircraft. On another note, one small flaw with the seat is the legroom. It can feel a bit claustrophobic at times because the legroom is limited. On the newer Phase 2 interior aircraft, the legroom is much better. This is a Phase 1 interior aircraft, so it's a bit dated, but it's still way better than their original cabin that they first started with. When this cabin was introduced on the A321s in 2014, it was a game changer and started to get implemented into some of their A320s. If you were lucky, you could score a seat in mint for lower prices on shorter flights like Fort Lauderdale to JFK. Sadly, they don't use mint aircraft on that flight anymore. If you're looking for a Phase 2 aircraft, you'll get it on most of JetBlue's A320s, their new A321neos, and the A220. It'll soon be implemented onto their regular A321s though. With all that said, the seats on this flight earned a 4 out of a possible 5 stars. Next, the food. The food on this flight was great. In economy, there were complimentary snacks, just plantain chips and cookies, or you can buy a snack box with candies, cheeses, or fruits. There were also complimentary beverage services, with the exception of alcohol. In Mint, they had lunch and dinner served. The options were chicken, shrimp, pasta, they had a lot of stuff on this flight. JetBlue partners with restaurants from their home city of New York to provide gourmet meals to Mint travelers. If you're interested, I'll link this month's menu in the description. One of my favorite features about JetBlue's A321 is the marketplace. This is available to all travelers. It's basically a little snack bar in the middle of the plane. And it has snacks, drinks, and there are also garbage bins and utensils if you need it. On their newer A321neos, this is called the Pantry. And it has a different design. It's a lot nicer on that, but just to have it in general is amazing. So, as you can infer, the food earns a 5 out of 5. Next, the in-flight entertainment. This is what Jeff is most known for. They have an IFV screen in every seat on every one of their aircraft. And let's just say the options to choose from are basically unlimited. There's a ton of stuff from movies to TV shows to music. It's great. Additionally, if you fly in Mint, you get your own remote aside from the fact that it's a touchscreen. In economy, you just had the touchscreen though. However, my screen wasn't so responsive and it was the same case for many other travelers. So I'm giving the IFE a 4 out of possible 5 stars. Finally, the service. The crew on this flight was awesome. They were so attentive throughout the flight even when it was a bit bumpy. 
And just a little info beforehand, the clientele on this flight was basically a preschool, okay? The majority of the passengers had to be two or three years old. I mean, they were all crying, kicking, screaming, all of the above. But the crew was constantly helping them. They were trying to spark jokes with them, play with them, just trying to make them feel comfortable. In addition to that, they were really enthusiastic about my filming as well. And whenever that's the case, it's a plus in my book. They were asking questions about my camera and even subscribed to my channel. So, if the crew's watching this, thank you for being awesome. And one other fun fact about the crew from this flight is that the first officer, Russell, was a captain on my flight to Phoenix back in 2021. So once we deplaned and I was in the terminal, I went up to him once he got off the plane to say hi. And right off the bat, he knew who I was. I'm currently in the process of getting my pilot's license, so his first question to me was, how's the flying going? And once I responded, he just said, I can't wait to work with you someday. So, with all that said, the service earns a solid 5 out of 5. So, to end all of that, JetBlue's A321 service from Los Angeles to Fort Lauderdale earns an 18 out of 20 stars. Great job, JetBlue. I can't wait to fly with them again soon, and I hope you guys get to enjoy the JetBlue experience, because it's just awesome. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of the video. Fort Lauderdale. You know, with these glasses, I don't see for arrival. Alright, I 
right, everybody, and welcome to Fort Lauderdale Airport, gate E4. Crowded over here. A lot of the night flights are leaving right now. All right, everybody, and that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Our plan will be headed over to San Francisco next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.